All right, day three's workout has been complete. Um, I was actually supposed to go yesterday to complete my last of my three days on. However, it was Sunday, my baby, my, my daughter, my wife, they were both sick. My son was starting to get sick. Um, and so we just decided to stay home, have a family day. Um, so not only did I not go to the gym yesterday, but I also did not calculate my calories. So I probably went over the count a little bit, but you know, it's okay. In long-term purposes, five years, 10 years from now, the one day, as long as I don't let it, you know, snowball into two, three, four, five days of not doing it, I'm okay with it, you know? As much as I love working out and, you know, really doing this and learning more about my diet and calories and all that, um, we, I gotta live regular life, you know, three kids, wife. So it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna try to make it as close to perfect for me as possible. Um, so yeah, so since yesterday was supposed to be my last of three days on, today technically should have been my day off. So instead I did chest, shoulders, and triceps today. And I'll just, you know, do legs tomorrow, back on Wednesday, and then Thursday will be another day off. And again, you know, day offs, you can say they're necessary, say they're not. Um, I've heard it takes like 72 hours for the muscles to recover. So with that one day off, you know, if I do chest today and I have back, I mean, then I have legs, then back, then day off, that's a full 72 hours plus, you know, whatever. So I'm definitely fully recovered when I get back into the gym. Um, today I did dumbbell incline presses i haven't done those in a while i was doing bench but a friend of mine in the gym the other day while i was doing flat flies you know i've got problems in my right shoulder but while he was watching me he could see that my left side would like fall rapidly a lot it's quicker than my right side and in my mind i'm thinking my right side is the weak side um and then today doing incline dumbbell presses you know, yeah, I felt a little pinch in the shoulder. Nothing crazy. I was able to push through it. Plus, I didn't go too heavy. I was focusing more on, you know, coming all the way down, getting the stretch, controlling the weight. Did like 50s. Um, but yeah, while doing it, I did notice my left is actually a little weaker. And it had me thinking that a lot of my problems on my right shoulder might be coming from my right side trying to compensate for my left side maybe but either way doing single arm exercises if you do feel some kind of imbalance it's probably best because then you get each individual movement and you're not you know one side isn't helping the other side lift it if my left gives out then guess what my right's also going to stop because i'm not going to just push one side um so it was incline dumbbell press which i liked i could definitely get better at that but i did like it um, then I did weighted dips with a 26 pound kettlebell. Um, can't do many of them, but again, it's okay. I'm not really in there for the weights. I'm in there to build some muscle and, you know, strengthen everything else will come as I get stronger, feel healthier, feel better. Um, but yeah, weighted dips. And then I did, you know, two variations of flies trying to hit like my lower chest and my upper chest with pulley flies, like the pulley machines. Um, after that, I did some triceps, which was barbell uh, skull crushers. Uh, this is a shout out to that RP, Renaissance Periodization guy. Um, I watched his stuff and, you know, watched the whole video on how he had different options for the skull crushers and I found barbell press coming down to my nose is where I felt the best stretch and literally almost hit failure every set after that I did like two to three sets of overhead rope and then like a v-bar push down just trying to get as many angles on my triceps as possible um, without you know doing overdoing too many exercises and exhausting myself because after triceps I do um, side laterals, do some side delts. I'd start off with the full ROM, same guy, RP, Mike, last name, don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so full ROM, 
side lateral, so coming all the way up top and then lowering it down slowly back to the start position and then, you know, repeating that a couple sets. Um, I love it, you know, especially with me having bad shoulders, a significantly bad shoulder. Um, it allows me to go lightweight and really still get a pump and really feel like I'm pushing myself. Um, but after the shoulders, that was pretty much it for the day. Um, came home, got the kids fed some lunch, ate myself, still trying to make, you know, that 2200 calorie count, um, still trying to make it to 2200 calories every day, no more, no less, just to, you know, at least for a week or two so I know for sure how it's affecting my weight and if I do need to eat more or eat less. Um, today I was 196 pounds, which, you know, I don't know what that's due to. Could be because I had the large chicken parmesan, pasta, chicken, cheese, bread. I mean, it was a lot last night, but it was delicious. Um, no regrets. Um, just can't do that like days in a row. One day, it's not a big deal. Um, oh, also I have to apologize for the last video. Did not realize that that noise was so annoying the entire time I was recording. Um, I was going to delete it redo it my wife suggested i redo it but i'll just leave it you know if i'm doing one of these every day you're gonna see a couple fuck ups this isn't perfect um but yeah yeah uh after that i came home so far i'm i've eaten quite a bit of my calories especially my carbs i think out of the 180 carbs i'm allotted for the day i'm i'm only left with 60 but it is 12.40 p.m. And uh, usually what I do from here on out is I try to save all of those cars, if not most of those cars for the end of the day, like right before bed. And from here to that time, I'll do like a protein shake, which, you know, maybe some fat, very little amount of carbs and 50 grams of protein. And then I'll do the rest of my protein, which I think after that shake, I'll have like 70 left. I'll probably do, you know, another 50 grams of protein in a steak and whatever's left, I'll make up for it with an egg or so. Um, same with carbs and fats, just to hit my count. And then the hardest part <laughs> for me is once I hit that 2200 calories and I've hit my carbs, that I stop eating, stop eating. Um, yeah, sweets are my weakness. But I do, I do, I did take a picture today after my chest workout to compare it to what I looked like a year ago when I started, which was dated March 29th of 2023. So we're almost to a full year since that point. And, you know, <clears throat> again, I, I don't, it's like a regular physique. I'm not super jacked. I'm not super lean. I've got a good amount of fat on me, but I'm very proud of my progress. And I'm really looking forward to what progress I can make going forward. Yeah, that's what keeps me motivated. Uh, what kept me motivated throughout the year was I no longer wanted to look like that or feel like that. And what's keeping me motivated now is that I don't look like that anymore. I don't feel like that anymore. But I'm nowhere where I actually would like to be yet. And there's no time frame. So, you know, there's no rush, which allows me to really focus on getting it right. And uh, yeah, yeah. One of the things I will mention is that I, for some reason, most of last year I did a lot of focus work on, you know, getting the stretch and on my form. And then the last couple weeks, I don't know if I just got a little comfortable. I was really focusing on pushing the weight rather than really focusing on the negatives and controlling the weight. I think that's what added to my shoulder hurting a little more today than it usually does. But um, it's okay because it was an awakening for me to really go back to that basic basic standard that I had self for myself of you know controlling the weight all the way through and not just thinking push this weight up that might work later on for me once I feel strong enough to just push weight but I feel like I'm not there yet I've got a little a lot of small muscles that aren't firing or it feels like they're not firing a lot of times when I'm doing anything upper body there's a huge mismatch from right to left and uh Sometimes it feels like there's something in my shoulder just not firing at all, like a muscle that's not being used. I'm not sure, but I always feel constant pressure on my right forearm and bicep. Um, but I'm an idiot.
it and I don't like going to the doctor. So I'm gonna keep pushing forward and see how far I can take it before this seems like a problem that I need outside help with. Uh, what else? <sighs> but yeah, plan for the day, you know, is really just focus on growth. And by that, I mean just making sure I get my protein, my calories and my carbs making sure that tonight I sleep at a decent time. I know I've got to be up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Seven hours at least of sleep is what I would like to have, which means by like 10, 10.30, I've got to be in bed, ready to pass out. Um, so no watching anime late at night because it's very slippery to start on one episode and watch it just fly by. Um, and I've been watching Muscles and Magic season two, which is really good I, I really like that show the first season really had me laughing and i was like man it's pretty funny but uh yeah that's it for today um nice little quick short video these might get better and longer as time goes on but for now i've got a lot more things to do for today so i gotta go get that done but the lift was done that's the main thing that's what creates the conditions for growth now that I've got the conditions met to grow, I've actually have to grow with food and sleep and water. I am terrible at hydration. I've got these like cheap electrolyte packs from Aldi and uh, I don't drink them. They don't taste that great, but I should probably drink one or two minimum a day. And then, you know, top that with at least a gallon of water, which I'm definitely not hitting, um, which I'm gonna go drink water right after this video. But uh, yeah, day three, apologize again for your last time's video with all the noise in the background, but it's okay. See you guys tomorrow. I won't be missing tomorrow. You're not gonna see me miss yesterday and tomorrow. I will get these three days done. It's a lot easier during the week. My days are structured. The kids have school times. My wife has work times. Like there's things I get done at specific times. The weekends is very easy for me to get off track. So eh, just missing up on a Sunday it's okay but I know for sure Monday Tuesday Wednesday solid three days working out hitting my calories getting my sleep Thursday probably go a little crazy because I'm not going to the gym rest days are sometimes slightly harder to do because I feel like it puts me one day behind and then I go behind on what and then I realize I've got nothing so there's no reason not to take that rest day other than my own whatever. So see you guys tomorrow.